Here's your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, just a spectacular day today, probably or one of the best days of the summer season. Of course, the big difference, not just the sunshine, but the low humidity, very comfortable. And that dry, comfortable air continues this evening. Looking at Providence right now, we've got temperatures that are ranging between about 65 and 70 with that dry, pleasant air. We'll take it down to street level and looking pretty good out and about this evening. Uh, weather is fine. We'll be dropping several more degrees during the overnight, but still 70 in Providence. You got upper 60s, low 70s. South Shore, Westerly, Mesquamic at 70. Beautiful on Block Island, looking good into Bedford and Taunton, coming in now at 68 degrees. Threat Tracker, this is just kind of a quick graphical look. We have three levels green, yellow, red, yellow's an alert. Red's a severe weather alert. Of course, low is oh, we're kicking back and relaxing. I mean, nothing really high impact or, or stormy conditions on the way Saturday, Sunday on into Monday. Very little, if any, in the way of rain. I mean, there may be a slight chance later Saturday night of a passing shower, but essentially we've got a dry, decent weekend coming up. So comfortable overnight. Nice for both uh, Saturday and Sunday, along with no major storms. Next chance for precipitation, really not until the middle of next week. So skies are crystal clear all across New England. Here's the wider view. See moisture across the mid-Atlantic and uh, through the southeast. Doesn't look like much, but these are called cirrus clouds. They're very high and thin across the Ohio Valley. They're tracking north and east, so they'll tend to mix with our sunshine for tomorrow. But otherwise, it's a, a pretty nice day, but uh, these thin clouds obviously not a, uh, a factor as far as precipitation. We'll keep the air dry as a frontal system to our south remains to our south and draped along it. Our showers and thunderstorms. This is where the humid air has been suppressed well to the south, so we're going to keep comfortable conditions. Get in real close, and here's a snapshot of what the high temperatures look like tomorrow afternoon. What you would expect from mid-July, it's about between 82 and 85 degrees across interior sections, upper 70s, low 80s along the uh, south shore. So for tomorrow morning sunshine, 6 a.m., we start off at 65. Already making a run at 80 by 11 a.m. And then during the afternoon, I was looking good. Again, just these thin high clouds mixing with the sunshine. The humidity is still low and comfortable. Uh, precipitation chances, you get the big goose egg here, 0% dry by 3 o'clock in the afternoon, 85. So many fairs and festivals and feasts this time of year in our area. And one of the bigger ones, the annual one uh, this year, is the St. Mary's Feast, which continues in Cranston, the Knightsville section in Cranston. The weather looks great for that. They have a spectacular uh, firework display on Sunday night. It starts at 10 o'clock, and, and the weather's looking good for that. In the meantime, beach is not bad. Hazy sun and clouds, dry temperature around 80, water temp in the uh, lower 70s, surf running at around 3 feet. Bay forecast unlimited visibility on a southwest breeze, 5 to 10, gust of 20 knots in the afternoon. High tide at uh, Narragansett at about 7.30 in the morning. All right, seven-day forecast. Uh, warmer on Sunday. It's in the upper 80s. Monday, not bad as the humidity returns next week. So do the chances albeit scattered of some showers Tuesday, Wednesday, and on into Thursday. Kim? All right, Tony, thank you.